Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK, and I need to show you a video. Um, it came out in October 2019, so it's a few, well, about five months old, October, November, December, January, February, yeah, four months old. But I cannot believe that young boys torched a police van, pelted police with bricks, and guess what their punishment was? Asbos. Antisocial behaviour or orders. Antisocial behaviour orders. That was the 14 who were involved. That was their punishment. I'm going to show you exactly what they did. Um, I have to ask you to excuse the bad language. Um, so, if you're in, not into profanities, you need to switch off now. Okay. Nick, where does that you? Van just got fucked up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, what I don't understand is why, when the police saw the van vandalised like that, why didn't they call for backup? That's the end of it. Why didn't they call for backup? You know what else I'm thinking? Can you imagine if that was black people doing that same thing to crown property? Can you imagine the military would be in? Armed police guards would be in. You would never hear the end of it. Faces all over the newspapers. Can you imagine? And yet, these youths, all they got was antisocial behaviour orders. Just going to show you the last bit. This is on, um, which paper is this? The, least, the Leeds and West Yorkshire paper. I'm going to put the link below. This one hasn't got much sound, but you can just see the last bit of the, um, the van. Now you know want to know you want to know what an interesting um, piece of information. Guess what the ethnic makeup is of Leeds? Eighty five per cent white, seven point seven per cent Asian, 
0.6% Oriental Chinese, no blacks. So that, when you live in a white neighborhood, that's the kind of penalties people who commit crimes get. Can you imagine if that same incident took place in London or in um, Brixton, well, not even so much Brixton, but in a black, predominantly black area? Could you imagine the outcome, the outcry? If that took place in any other place than a, a predominantly white neighborhood, it really is unjust. I cannot believe that those kids, after causing all that damage, throwing bricks at police, were not taken in and the, and the key thrown away. And yet you're finding black people being deported and having their child, their lives ruined for less. Much, much, much less. At first I thought it was a bloody joke. I thought, oh, it's got those funny writing on it. I'm sure that can't be real. Should I be showing it? Is it? Is it, Am I endorsing um, damage to police vehicles by showing this? When I looked at the bloody newspaper, all I had to do is put Leeds um, accused of, you know, torching a, a police van, came up all over the place. You know, I think it is so unfair. This is what you call discrimination. When there's one rule for one set of people and another rule for another. That shouldn't be the case. Those kids, the damage that they caused, and the police are just behaving as though it's a normal part of duty. Maybe it is in Leeds. But my goodness. Anyway, I haven't got much more to say. Um... Yeah, so look, these kids are also guilty of putting letterbox, um, fireworks through letterboxes and a history of other um, misdemeanors. But yeah, that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.